Okay. Coalition of five boys. And you can hear the distress of all the zebras around. <laughs> This is amazing. Now, a single cheetah wouldn't even venture at a zebra this size. Now, please be warned, um, the zebra is still alive, so they will start feeding on it. So if you are sensitive, it might be a good time to go grab a cup of coffee. Now, this is coming to you live from Kenya. The Musketeer Cheetah Coalition have taken down a sub-adult zebra. Now that zebra doesn't look to be in the best condition. Maybe that's another reason why they did it. Now, of course, oh, I think the hyenas are already on their way. Can you hear some hissing? No, it's the zebras coming back in. Let me get to the other side. Now, I have seen zebras do this to wild dogs before. When wild dogs have grabbed a young one, they have charged back in to try chase off now, you'll notice you won't see me now. We've switched to the low-light camera. Um, so the, the low-light camera, is, so it, it's got a big lens on it, so you won't be able to see me, but it does give us incredible light. Now, you can hear the zebras around. I thought that the cheetah were hissing at a hyena, but it wasn't. They were hissing at probably what's the mother charging in. Oh, it looks like D'Artagnan's actually on the stranglehold. Is it D'Artagnan with the collar? Oh, no, it's not. How many cheats have we got here? One, two. No, all five are there. It is incredible the light we're getting off this low light camera. There we go. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite done yet. Poor little zebra. As I said, it doesn't look like it's in the best condition. And this is a big meal for these five boys. That is the circle of life out here on the African plains. Tico's wondering, how long will a kill of this size provide food for the brothers? Not as long as you would think. Now, the biggest problem for them here is possibly other predators, lions or hyenas, would have heard all this disturbance, the alarm calls from the mother zebra, and all the stampeding of hooves, and it might bring them in, hyenas specifically. So, but if they had time and no other outside threats and they managed to eat this whole carcass it should last them through till tomorrow and you can see how nervous they are looking around constantly Now, Bobby's wondering why do they have such a hard time tearing into the hide? Well, they don't have nearly as well-developed teeth as lions and leopards and hyenas, so it takes them a little bit longer to cut through. And I'm just going to check with my spotlight quickly, see if there's any hyenas in there. So far, so good for the cheetah boys. Not a sign of a hyena around us, just... Oof, shouting at each other. 
Now, cheetah will often start at the rump. The rump is the best spot to start feeding from. Now, you can see there's about four of them at the rump and only one up ahead. Now, the, the reason for that is there's a lot of meat there, very little bone, um, and they are able to wolf down as much as possible before other potential predators come in and steal their kill. Uh, remember we are using a special low light camera that is being able to bring this to us and that's why you won't be seeing me. It's, I got the lens that doesn't go that wide. You can see they're very, very alert. And it sounds like some of you guys are getting some great screenshots of the boys. Now, this is sort of the perfect time for cheetah to hunt because at just that hour after sunset uh, where their eyes are just that little bit better than everyone else's and they are able uh, to take advantage of the fading light that doesn't work in the prey's eyes. Okay, well, it's while these cheetah boys are still stationary, uh, we're going to go across to Jamie and her lioness.